What's up everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how to create a cinematic gimbal movement with your smartphone. And I will be using the iPhone 13 Pro Max with the DJI OM5. And what I like about this gimbal is that it has a built-in extension pole allowing me to create unique gimbal shots. But you can use any other gimbal. The principles applied in this video are the same. And by the end of this video, you will be able to create a basic gimbal movements that will make your shot more dynamic and cinematic. So with that said, let's get started. So this here is a ruin in Regensburg. I thought this would be an interesting place to create our gimbal moves. And it's also pretty cold out here. Currently the sun is up, but it won't stay up long. So we have to presiren. So let's first talk about our setup right here. So I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max mounted to the DJI OM5 and you want to make sure your phone is balanced correctly. This way the gimbal won't have to use a lot of power and you can operate more smoothly. Now if you have the DJI OM5, I actually created an in-depth video on how to use this uh, in your video. So make sure to check it out. I will leave the link up here. So let's talk about camera settings. Now the two video apps I like using is the native camera app and Filmic Pro. Now DJI also has an app that you can pair it with your phone called the DJI Mimo app, but we won't be using that app since I prefer using the native camera app right now, especially for run and gun shooting. It's easier to operate with, and in my opinion, produces a much better image quality. Now in terms of resolution, I will be shooting in 4K because 4K has more detail and I will be changing the frame rate from 25 to 60 frames per second. This way I can slow the footage down and will look even smoother when slowed down. I will be using the standard video mode and I won't be shooting in ProRes because unless you're doing corporate work, I wouldn't recommend shooting in a ProRes because it just captures a lot of data and uh, takes a long time to transfer to your computer. So usually before I start recording my videos, I tap hold on the screen to uh, lock the white balance, autofocus and auto exposure. This way no changes will occur during the recording. And I usually like to drag down the exposure just a little bit by sliding with my finger down because I find the native camera tends to overexpose the image a bit. So the next thing I wanna talk about is body posture. And this is really important because you wanna avoid these up and down movements when it comes to operating with your gimbal. You really wanna make your shot look like it's floating through the air. And to do that, the first thing you wanna do is really hold the gimbal with both your hands and then slightly bend your knees and then walk forward in a constant speed, heel to toe. And this really will give you the best results when it comes to uh, shooting videos with a gimbal. So the first gimbal move I'm gonna show you is the reveal shot. And I'm actually gonna extend the pole so that I have a better reach when I'm uh, standing behind the wall and moving my gimbal upwards. And I like using the reveal shot, especially at the beginning of the video to reveal a certain location. First thing I'm gonna do is set my end position. This will be the end position. So I'm gonna tap hold on the screen to lock the focus and exposure. I'm gonna move downwards. And then once I'm ready, I'm gonna hit the record button and slowly move upwards to reveal the location. Awesome. So the next shot will be a slide shot and I'm gonna position myself behind this wall. And you wanna look for foreground because this will make your movement much more apparent. And what I'm gonna do is actually just slide from left to right uh, with my gimbal. So I'm first gonna set my composition and I'm gonna tap hold. I'm gonna lower the exposure just a little bit and I'm gonna start recording the video. And action. All right. So the next camera movement I'm gonna create is a push in shot and I'm gonna use the entrance for that because we have these two walls here that are gonna create more depth in our shot and make the movement when I move forward more apparent. And what I'm also gonna do while I push forward is I'm actually gonna reveal uh, the top of this uh, ruin. So first I'm gonna lock the exposure by tap holding and then I'm gonna position myself 
and I'm actually gonna increase the exposure just a little bit because it's quite dark and once I'm ready I'm gonna hit the record button and push forward and slowly tilt upwards coming up is the low shot and I'm gonna invert the camera for that this way I can get lower to the ground and I will be using the ultra wide angle lens for that because uh, it will just make the camera movement more apparent and actually at the end of uh, my camera move I will be lifting the camera up to sort of uh, create a fake drone shot and I'm actually going to invert it right now okay this looks great and I'm actually going to tap hold to lock the focus and exposure and I'm going to increase the exposure just a little bit and once I'm ready I hit the record button and I move forward in a constant movement and then once I get to the end I'll create like this fake drone shot. Next is the orbit effect and I'm going to create a circular motion around this tree. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually look for some foreground. I think this looks great and then I'm going to tap hold to lock the focus and exposure and once I'm ready I'm actually going to circle around the tree as good as I can. So let's go. See that? Oh yeah. Now something else I like to do is actually push through objects and this can be a little bit tricky but with the DJI OM5 I can actually use the extendable pole and position it like this to really smoothly push through objects and I'm going to use this tree for that. I'm going to center it and I'm actually going to lock the exposure and focus and once I'm ready I'm going to hit the record button and I'm going to slowly push through these tree branches and go. As good as that as I can. So the next thing I'm going to create is a push out shot and I think this perspective is really nice also with the sun hitting the walls and you also have these leading lines which point towards this uh, rock. So I'm going to position myself and I'm going to tap hold to lock the focus and exposure. And once I'm ready, I'm going to hit the record button and slowly move backwards. So there's actually this underground path over here and I think it would look great if I would create a sort of top-down moving shot. I'm going to position myself and then I'm just gonna create a moving. All right guys, so these were the camera movements and this is how it would look like if I would edit the video together, adding music and sound effect. So these were some of the basic gimbal movements. I highly recommend you go out and practice those. So really search for a location that is interesting and take out your gimbal to really practice those basic movements that will in the end make a lot of difference and make your shots more dynamic. And once you edit your video, make sure to share it with people. And the best way to get feedback is to share it on my private smartphone filmmaking group that I created on Facebook. This way you will get feedback and continuously learn and improve your smartphone filmmaking skills. All right, guys, with that said, it's getting cold outside. I need to head back home. You guys take care, have a great day, and see you the next time. Bye.